Hello and welcome back to Bits and Bobs. Today's video is all about the 1895 florin, as we see on the screen now. Firstly, I'll talk to you about the design of the coin on both sides, and then move on to the facts and figures. So then, here is the reverse design, and what a beautiful design it is, with lots of detailed things going on. We have three shields, each featuring the three lions of England, the lion rampant of Scotland, and the harp of Ireland. Around these shields is then the national flowers for the countries just mentioned, with the rose, thistle, and shamrock. Around this is the Order of the Garter. Running through this design are two royal scepters, and above it at the top is a crown, the royal crown. At the bottom we can see the sort of belt buckle style of the Order of the Garter, and below this is the date, 1895, when the coin was struck. Around the outside of the coin is the words one florin and two shillings, as one florin was equal to two shillings, and that is the denomination of the coin. Lastly we can see beading or milling around the edge on both sides to stop from clipping, and the coin has a reeded edge as well. As you've now seen, we've moved on to the obverse of the coin, featuring the portrait of Queen Victoria. This one is the veiled head or old head portrait of her, done by Thomas Brock. And we see her wearing a crown under a veil, she has an earring, a necklace and a brooch on, with lots of detail on a nice design. She's facing to the left as well. The legend around her is in Latin, or abbreviated Latin, and translates to Victoria, by the grace of God, Queen of Britain, Defender of the Faith, Empress of India titles she held at the time. Just below the Queen's shoulder, the initials TB can be seen. This stands for Thomas Brock, who as I said, was the designer of this coin on the obverse. We'll now move on to the facts and figures of the 1895 florin. So then, this coin was minted at the Tower Hill Mint in London, where the Royal Mint was based between 1810 and 1975. The coin is composed of 0.925, which is 92.5% pure, also known as sterling, silver as it was before 1920 when the coins, the silver coins started to be debased to less and less silver content until there was none left. The weight of the florin was 11.3 grams, so it was a fairly large coin, a fairly heavy coin, and had a diameter of 28 millimetres, making it on the bigger side of coins in circulation back in 1895. The thickness of the coin was also around 2 millimetres, adding to the overall size of this coin, which is a fairly sizable coin, as I said. The mintage of the 1895 florin is 2,182,968. So it's not a very common coin, although it's not very rare, a bit of a scarcer and harder to find date, perhaps. The florin is, of course, worth 24 pence, which is two shillings, as it says on the coin, and that would be one tenth of a pound sterling back in the pre decimal currency system. And back in 1895, one florin was equal to 16 pounds and 82 pence today. So much more of a buying power than 24 pence to have today. So a florin would be a fairly valuable coin to have in your pocket back in the day. And it was demonetized finally in 1992 after serving as a 10 pence for the last part of its circulating years. So then, what is the coin worth now? And the value of the coin is 13 pounds in a very poor condition with lots of wear, 25 pounds in fine condition, 100 pounds in extremely fine condition, and 200 pounds in uncirculated condition with no wear, marks, or damage to the coin. So there we go. Whatever the condition, a lovely and beautiful design and a great addition to any coin collection. Comment down below if you have one of these coins. And while you're down there commenting, of course, please do hit subscribe as that is truly appreciated by us. A big thank you for everyone for watching all the way through the video and we hope to see you again on Bits and Bobs for some more coin content. So see you then.